My word, Taya, what is that? A diamond ring. Well, who's the lucky guy? You're kidding me. Oh, well, thanks for your warm wishes, Nora. We gotta get a move on. Plus, you want to be late for your own wedding. What is going on? Well, we've been working together a lot lately, and... and you know, Cupid's little arrows found their little way into our little hearts. I don't know why you're doing this, but if you have any brains at all in your head, Taya, you won't. Come on, Taya. It's time for you to go become Mrs. Todd Manning. It would, but it's also the only way I know to make you be happy. Yeah. Now, you know, just mind this. I got it! I got it! <laughs> Can't do this. What? Look, um... No, sit down. Just wait, I'll be back. You sure you don't want to stick around, cash the bouquet? Oops, I don't have a bouquet. Yeah, right. Oh, I stand corrected. I do have a bouquet. Thank you, Todd. They're beautiful. If you say so. To me, they're just, you know, dead flowers that don't know they're dead yet. <laughs> How romantic. Are you saying rosary or something? a cookie. A charm my abuelita gave me. Looks like a frog. It is. Did it used to be a handsome prince? Oh, come on. You haven't got all mushy on me, have you? Hey, you cracked first, Manning. Hey, come on. Hey. I now pronounce you Husband and wife. You may kiss your wife. I have a cold. I just became Mrs. Todd Manning. Isn't that sweet? My little nephew Kevin came all the way down here to wish his Uncle Todd and his Auntie Taya good luck. I wish you nothing except excruciating pain. Can I talk to you? Go ahead. I mean alone. Anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of my husband. We have no secrets. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. May we go now? No. Can you just stop and hear me out? Cassie finally did leave Andrew for me. I was... I was just thrown. Ready, sweetheart? <clears throat> Guess what? Married to you today. What do you think of that, huh? I figured if there were more people around, uh, you wouldn't miss your mom so much. Excuse me? Did you say you got married? Yeah. Mrs. Manning, may I take the flowers for you? Thank you, Judith. What's going on with you and Kevin? Nothing. Old news, it's totally irrelevant. Is that a fact? How about we take this chance to finish up a little unfinished business? Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. Second million. Oh, thank you again. How's my little girl? Did you have a busy day today, little, little, little one? Hi. You know, I think this calls for ginger ale. What do you think? Never turned down an offer for ginger ale, huh? <laughs> Hi. Hello. Go. Here's to uh, no, down the hatch. Not, not to complain, but uh, don't you think the occasion calls for uh, a little champagne? Uh... Oh, um, is Judith going to get that? 
I'll get that. You, you keep your hands off that baby. <laughs> Star's mother, my niece, your ex-wife, isn't dead. So don't dare talk about her as if she were. She is, however, lying in a coma. And she has no idea that you and your new wife are planning to take her child away from her. You see, underneath the devastation of that stroke, I think the memory of her child is what is keeping her alive. And if you take away her child, it is tantamount to taking away her life. I don't know what that means. What's tantamount mean? means the same as, only fancier. I got a big word for you. How about pretension? Yes, just like that. You really think that? You really that stupid? You think for one second that I want Blair in the hospital with a roadblock in her head? Or that I want Star thinking somewhere in her head that her mother is gone? You think that I want to hassle with you to do what every father has a right to do, raise a kid in peace? I don't want this fight, Dorian. You did this. But if you try and take Star away from me, I will fight you. Now, get out of here. Get, get, get out of my house. All you do is remind me of everything that is wrong with the world. Oh. I'm sorry you had to be here for that. I'm a big girl. I can handle it. I gotta go to the office. I gotta write about our wedding. Um. Here are your keys. You might want to get a new keychain. Your bedroom's upstairs. You go down the hallway. It's on the, the left. I'm gonna be late. I don't think you should wait up. I know we're hitched and everything, but no for swapping clothes, all right? I don't think I have the legs to pull off those short skirts you wear. Sorry, I, uh, I forgot to pack a robe in, in my overnight bag. Yeah, you're usually so well prepared. Chalk it up to uh, inexperience, you know, first marriage and all. Besides, this was all I could find up in my room. Besides a lot of Blair's clothes. But coming down for a cup of coffee in them would have seemed too much like being in a Hitchcock movie. This is a Hitchcock movie. <laughs> I'll get Blair's stuff out of there today. What'll you do with it? Hey, hey. Don't worry about that. Well, there's a lot of beautiful things up there and you never know. Blair may need them again. You know. Look, I said don't worry about it, all right? You got some of your own clothes? I won't have to go out the door wearing a barrel, if that's what you mean. Good, why don't you go get dressed? We'll go down to the hospital for Star's checkup together. We'll make it a family affair. Okay. I do need coffee, though. Oh. Mrs. Mack. Congratulations. Says the happy groom, Taya is terrific. <laughs> She's everything I wanted in a wife and everything my daughter wanted in a mother. How touching. <laughs> I, I didn't know we'd be public so soon. You know, Landview's latest lovebirds. Ah! Or whatever. Ah! Listen, um, maybe you should take Star to the hospital yourself. I'll, I'll meet you there later. What? Well, if the news is out so soon, this lovebird needs to make sure it doesn't uh, ruffle any feathers. <laughs>